all right y'all we just finished the tour we went on the river and it was really nice i got a little tired though the fireflies were pretty they're like no these are not led lights these are actually fireflies <laughs> apparently they only like go to these certain trees but anyways it was really fun i'm so tired now oh my gosh oh we got food and a whole bunch of other stuff and now we are heading back with our tour to bangkok back to the hostel i got like three four days it makes a lot of sense for me to go home right now or like go somewhere where i could figure things out but i think i'm gonna go to <laughs> the motorcycle censoring out my nonsense and delusional thought process <laughs> but yeah i think i'm gonna i think i'm gonna go to cambodia or vietnam we can talk about it later <laughs> but <laughs> i don't know it's so cheap to survive here that it's just like it makes more sense you know we'll talk about it we'll talk about it but anyways i'll see y'all later i hope you enjoyed this vlog bye y'all also tell me why the shop i went to had soju <laughs> okay we lit for no reason on a sunday night the elephant pants being donated is hilarious y'all i just got back i'm so tired the driving was crazy because why do i feel seasick and we're on the highway the driving was insane we were like the driving was concerning <laughs> As soon as we stopped, a few people were like, yeah, my life flashed before my eyes. I was like, oh, okay, I thought it was just me. Anyway, I'll talk to y'all. It's Sunday. I already know people were out partying and whatnot, but I don't got it in me. I'm going to lay down for a little bit and see how I feel. But I'm tired. Look at how elegant my bonnet looks like. You can't tell me this is not classy. The little swoop. Looking all vintage. I'm about to go chill, y'all. I ain't going out tonight. I'm tired. Uh-uh. We are not about to start our morning like that. The toilet was about to overflow on my foot. I went to the other bathroom. What's up, y'all? I think my spirit has been hurting because I stopped being so nice. So, it's not something I have to currently work on. But I am disappointed because, well, you know, I got my favorite tea. I'm about to go to the store and get a snack. I'm disappointed because it's like, it's crazy how you could look out for somebody when they was low. Like, low. No judgment just generous looking out and then when you're low they shame you for it what? What? sometimes i just be testing people because i want to see what they want to say if they thought i was in a situation but i'm really not anyways yeah i did that and somebody thought i was like down bad like couldn't even eat somebody was supposed to love me and they were like well you should have did better blah 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 you're a beggar this that, and the that. yeah so I'm very motivated today. Like I was already motivated to just pop my shit, but I'm even more motivated. And it's just like, this is really learning lessons for real, for real. I got three days here. I gotta figure out what I wanna do with myself and where I wanna go. I think I'm gonna keep this going. Y'all, I'm gonna keep this going for real, for real. And now I know it sounds silly and it's like any like angel queen mode, this and a third. I'm popping my shit even more, TikTok instagram all of that because the thing is it's exposure so as long as i'm able to keep exposing myself <laughs> without exposing myself illegally i think whatever i have sitting there and what i've set up over the months will work in my favor and the thing is too like i was telling somebody i know it's like you're in a foreign country like just go home y'all have to understand if you don't have anywhere to go you can make your own home with family it's a little bit inconvenient with friends it just doesn't work but that being said, like the two weeks I went home to get my root canal and to make music and to just handle some stuff and check in, I spent $500 on a room for 10 days. And here I spent $300 for rent for the month. Sure. If you do those like numbers and comparisons, obviously it's better to stay in a cheaper country. So yeah, hi. <laughs> Have a good day. <laughs> As you can see, it's just more enjoyable. Like, I, those are people I went on the tour with yesterday. 
Oh my gosh, I was on a, I didn't even tell y'all, I'm sorry. I'm starting the day off with blah, blah, blah. I went on a riverboat. I went um, to the train market, all that stuff. The train market was aggressive. I didn't like that too much. It was a little bit aggressive. But the boat market was more chill, et cetera. We got food on the boat. The fireflies are cute. But after a certain time, everybody was tired. We spent a long time in each place, like two and a half hours or whatever. There was a lot to explore, but it was hot. and You get tired here faster. But yeah, no, yesterday was really good. And I just woke up like even more motivated i've been going crazy posting youtube shorts posting tiktoks reels all that stuff and hoping that my content can just carry me because the fact that i survived here for like two weeks on like less than 500 dollars says all you need to know and apparently surrounding countries are even cheaper so it just it might not make sense to you but it makes sense to me i know i went home and i spent a bag i probably spent like a quick I don't even know, upwards of thousand dollars just back home in the States to survive temporarily. So, so I'm gonna sit here and drink my $2 smoothies and my $2 kebabs and take my $5 taxi rides. <laughs> like I just, I'm gonna do what works for me. And I had somebody, one of my supporters tell me, he's like day by day, every day, just do whatever you have to survive day by day. 